Well, I will sometimes get frequent questions and comments regarding gaming in Linux. Can you run games in Linux? And if you can, how good is it? How good is it? And uh, most of you know I have two standard replies. Number one, I use my Xbox 360 for all of my gaming needs. And number two, if you really want to play games, stick with Windows. However, Steam, a gaming client for Linux, has arrived and this will open up a whole new world of gaming options for Linux. Now the question is, does it work and really is it any good? Well, I have set up an account. Now Steam is also completely new to me, so stick around because we are going to see how this Linux dummy handles Steam gaming for Linux. All right, I uh, went to the Steam website and I set up a free account. Uh, you need a, uh, of course, an email address to set up a password. That part was very easy, no issues there whatsoever. So let me double click the Steam icon here. Uh, I am going to test this in Ubuntu 12.04. Connecting to my Steam account. Now, as I said, I haven't tested this. I haven't downloaded any games or tried any games. Uh, in case you're wondering, my particular desktop is a dual core machine. Okay, now as you can see, I have no games here. So I need to take a look and see if I can play a game. Now, it says here, looks like new driver package available. We recommend installing video driver package uh, FLGRX for best performance. These are proprietary video drivers. I have not had luck with Linux proprietary drivers. Now I am not going to install this because there is a possibility as it happened for me to me in the past that I can crash my system so I am not going to do this. Now there is a possibility that without me installing this Steam may not work. I understand that but for this particular demonstration based on my past bad experiences I will hit cancel. Alright, so I need to look and pick up some games. So let's see. Let's go to, let's see, add a game here at the bottom. Okay, browse the Steam store for games. Alright, so far this is easy enough. Alright, let's see. So if I was looking to, let's say I wanted to try a demo game. I'm not sure if I want to buy something. You know, just want to check it out just to see if it will work on my Linux PC. I think that's fair. Let's go to, let's click Linux and let's see if we can try a demo and if we like it of course we can purchase it. Fair enough. Okay. Let me scroll down. Now here it'll come up with several icons. The first icon is the Windows logo, the Apple logo for your Mac computer of course Linux. Now. I think not all of these games will run on all three operating systems, if I'm not mistaken. So let's just scroll down and see if we can find a freebie. Now to the right it will give the price. For example, this one is $49.99, $14.99, so on and so forth. But you know, I, I don't play PC games. I just want to try this to see if this actually works and if it's up to par in playing a game. Uh, on the win on the Xbox 360, but more more really, if it's up to par to playing a game on a Windows PC like Windows 7. So let's see if I can find a freebie, a demo to try out. All right, nothing so far. I will click next 10, and let's see. All right, next 10. Okay, next 10. There doesn't seem to be a lot of choices yet to try out a Linux game anyway. Mm, nothing there. Uh, let's see. Dwarfs. Dwarfs. Eh, I don't want to play Dwarfs. That doesn't sound like something like be fun. I could be wrong, of course. Uh, in case you're wondering, I'm a Halo person. Halo gamer when I'm in the mood. And it looks like, is that the only demo to try in Linux? Boy, that's not a lot, is there? 
Now granted, a lot of these games aren't that expensive, but the point is I wanted to check it out to make a decision before I decide to buy. Okay, dwarfs. So, let's go ahead and click that. And let's see, play game. Estimated download time, 23 hours, really? <laughs> I don't think so, but I'll click next anyway. Okay, create a system application icon for dwarves, create a desktop shortcut. Sure, why not? Click next. Preparing dwarfs. Steam is now downloading dwarfs. You can track the progress of this download in the Steam downloads view. Now this to me is somewhat um, unfriendly. It should come up, in my opinion, this should come up automatically with a download progress bar versus, you know, getting out of this and going into something else to see how my download is coming. So it says, uh, I can track this in the Steam downloads view. Okay, this is somewhat unfriendly, but it's not that big of a deal. So let's go to Steam downloads view. And the question is, where is the Steam downloads view? Uh, let's go to Steam here, view. And where are downloads? Okay, we'll click that. Okay, and here it is here. All right, fine. So this is giving me the download progress. I will pause this, come back, and see if Steam actually works running in Ubuntu 12.04. Don't go away. All right, well, the game has finally downloaded. I think it took about... Um, 15 minutes or so to download a game that is about 563 megabytes. So, are we ready to play? Let's click play. See what happens. Well, I'm not getting anything to happen. Um, I'm assuming clicking play means, as it is stated, to play the game, but nothing appears to be happening. Uh, I'm not sure if not installing the uh, proprietary drivers has anything to do with this. I suppose that's a possibility, but as it stands now, nothing's happening. It says it's already running, but the game is definitely not running. And it's just not doing anything. I mean, I don't know how else to explain it. As I stated, this may be due to the fact that I did not install the extra uh, video drivers. And to be quite honest, I am not going to do it. I have very bad experience before installing uh, video drivers uh, and um, I had to reinstall my system twice and uh, I certainly would not recommend that to you and I'm not going to do it. Uh, it very well could be that installing the video drivers now I may not have any issues. I quite frankly I'm, I am not ready to take that chance. So at this point of the game I think I will just leave the review as this. As far as, as, far as this being dummies proof or newbies proof in terms of easy to set up an account download. I didn't have any issues and if you are new to Linux gaming I don't think you'll have any issues as far as setting up an account. As far as playing the game well this is what you see here I cannot get this to play. Uh, if you choose to install the extra video drivers you do so at your own risk um, and I know I am not the only person that has had uh, issues with video drivers so I will leave this review as it is, I'm kind of disappointed, but to be quite honest, you know, as I stated, I let my Xbox 360 handle all of my gaming needs. However, for those of you who got, who got this to work and love this, playing Steam games, if you have any suggestions or if it's something I missed, please let me know and I will be happy to share it. But for this review, I'm done. I'm going to go back to play Halo. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.